So hello, sorry. Um, my name is Stefanos Georgopoulos. Uh, I am a PHP developer. I'm working uh, for the regional, and I have a problem with my presentation. Or I'm working for the regional computing center, and maybe I need to change. not work the presentation can I change it somehow or I can do it that way there's not a problem maybe Okay, I can start and it's Apple devices. Okay, uh, I'm a PHP developer and uh, I'm part of the multimedia team in uh, Regionales Computing Center. We are providing IT services for our university. I'm responsible for our uh, video portal and, and uh, our open custom and capture agent installation and maintenance. Um, the Friedrich Alexander University uh, has around 40,000 students and around 30,000 employees uh, and five faculties. I have to go a little bit quick with the numbers. Um, we are, uh, the multimedia team has uh, eight people. Uh, five are responsible for capturing and editing. Uh, one developer, nice to meet you. And, um, I had one student assistant and we have two ladies also for team and projects administration. And we also have five to six students assistants per semester for uh, capturing and editing. Uh, we have our video portal and we have more than uh, 80,000 resources online. Okay, what is Final Cut Pro? Final Cut Pro is a post-production video editing software from Apple. Now, it's my eye, in my eyes, and maybe in a developer eyes, Final Cut Pro looks something like this. It's the same. Okay. Um, we are doing a lecture recording for 2002, and we are still, still uh, doing recordings like uh, the old school way. So what we are doing, we are going to the room, we are set up our mobile cameras and we have different rooms with different uh, wireless frequencies for our microphones. And we record, of course, we are going back to our office and um, we create our combined, I will explain to you later what is this combined background image with Photoshop. Uh, we are post-productive, so we are working with Final Cut Pro, we are copying the files, we are singing it the guys in the team are doing it, I'm a developer. So they are syncing, uh, they are trimming, they are exporting the audio, and uh, most of the time a clip uh, in our video portal has at least uh, five, four, five resources. So has, um, if there is a presentation, we have one audio, three camera, different resolutions, and one combined. And we add also the intro, outro. Then we export the file to an NFS folder, and we are waiting for our high performance computing department. And these guys are very fast. And uh, they are creating these different formats for our um, camera and for our combined video. Because if you're working with the Final Cut Pro and you export the file, you get something like 10 gigabytes of file. And we need to shrink down to one gigabyte so uh, we can offer um, a very small file um, to the students. And then we publish the clip. Um, that takes around three hours. And this is an example of a combined video. Here comes the intro. I don't have any cameras. 
the same. So you can see here there is a title, there is a semester, here is the presenter name and the faculty. And we have this layout. When there is a presentation file, we have always this video file. Now, we are coming to questions. Uh, the first question is, can OpenCast compete and do more advanced things uh, like a professional editing software? I say yes. OpenCast can do it. We have a simple video editor where we can trim. We can use our composite work cooperation funder where we can combine two video streams into a one video. We have the CONCAT or the 2.0, from 2.0 this teams functionality. We have the cover image. Uh, the cover image is available for 2.1. What I did, because we have uh, right now in production 2.0.1, uh, I took the pull request for Basil Brunner who creates uh, this functionality and I merged it to the 2.0. Because I am an impatient person and I always want to have uh, this feature, I want it to work. I said, yeah, we can do it. Maybe. We can watermark uh, our video files, and we have uh, OpenCast has also a couple of other workflow operation handlers. Do we manage to create? Of course we do. So OpenCasting our workflow. Uh, it's, uh, it's doing too many complicated things for us, OpenCast. Like, uh, we are going to the room, we are scheduled, we are trimming, and we're done. <laughs> so, capturing, trimming, done. No Final Cut Pro, no export things, and so OpenCast is doing it, uh, all the stuff for us automatically. Huh? The total working uh, time is uh, like uh, 90 minutes around, um, and if there is a Schedule, schedule recording, we need only five minutes only for the trimming. Uh, the problems. Problem one. Um, I tried uh, last summer at, when I merged, after my holidays in Greece, I went back from, I'm from Greece, and I was back from Greece and I said, okay, let's play a little bit with OpenCast, let's see what we can do. So um, I tried it to add the background image. Um, and what is Cover image can can done is he can access the open OpenCast metadata, and the result is something like this. This is the intro. It's working. I had for a, a very small moment. I had the I did it like a boss face. Huh? Okay, uh, this is the workflow t title, this is our subject, and um, this is uh, the presenter name, and the, the, the last one is the contributor. This is uh, the metadata from OpenCast, and it's rendering directly in our video. What is the problem? The problem is first that I used a very, uh, very um, strange title. This is a test. I should use like recording one, one or recording two. The problem is that if someone or if the recording has a longer, a longer title or an, a longer um, presenter name or a longer contributor name as a string, it's happening something like this. It's not very good. And this is because um, um, there is no, unfortunately, this is not a div apply uh, advanced CSS rules. So what OpenCast uh, says, okay, he said, I want, I'm um, going to render the string. Please provide me an X and a Y. So we are providing the pixels. OpenCast starts to, start to outsync the title and uh, doesn't know where to stop. Uh, we found a way. It's a very complicated way. If someone is uh, interested in this kind of layout, can uh, find me later and I can explain. Uh, we are um, counting the strings. We have a, a, la a maximum strings um, counter and then we are outputting um, to the next line, like to the 10 pixels under, we are outputting the rest of the title. That's why there is always here a gap. And at the end, what we are taking is something like this. Uh, the German language has a very long title. 
So we managed to fit all of these titles here. And keep in mind that this is happening also for, for all metadata. So uh, fortunately, my name, which is a, a, lar a large name, but I can fit it here. And um, you need to have spaces if you want to output more um, presenters. Uh, second problem, like um, it was like uh, one week before the new semester, I gather up my team. I said, uh, "Come on, uh, um, we need to. I'm, I'm going to make a how-to. We have a new way to working. It's done it all um, automatically. I did a demo with this video. Everything went real good. But like uh, the last question was from my colleague. Um, Where did you find this background image? I said, "Yeah, in our uh, NFS folder." Yeah, you know, there are five of them. And I said, where's the difference? Based on the faculty, we are changing the color. And I thought like, oh, oh God, oh, we have a problem. Um, this can be done in different ways. The most easy way is that the workflow, when the package is incest, um, ingest to the server, then the user, can select, <coughs> sorry, between uh, five different workflows. But I found it a little bit of strange and, uh, how can I say it, um, not user friendly for the admins to choose um, like different workflows based on, on the faculty. And what we discovered is that we can have something like this. So inside the XSL file, based on the, based on the series ID, we can get different PNGs. So. We have only one workflow, and based on the media package um, series, then we get another color. So if Stefanos is speaking right now and it's on the um, medicine faculty, then it takes some color like, I don't remember which color. And yeah, success. Uh, what OpenGAS is actually doing in the background. So the ingest is done. We're always going to the editor, so we need to trim. The admins are notified by an email that a workflow is ready to be trimmed. We have um, OpenCast is preparing the cover image, create the PNG with the OpenCast metadata. It's um, using the composite. Uh, usually we are, we are capturing with Gallicaster, and Gallicaster is the two stream recorder. And in the video portal, we have um, a one stream player, so we need to composite and create the same, exactly the same, the, exactly the same layout. And what is composite is doing is using this layout based on the JSON data and it's creating this layout. <coughs> we are watermarking the presenter uh, file. Um, we are adding the intro outro. We are export the audio for the presenter so we can have a, an audio track. We are creating different uh, transcoding profiles for the camera file. We are, we are using the high profile because always we have a, a 1280, 1280 to 720p for our combined video file. Uh, what I did is I, I tagged the final files as a final in the OpenCast and I used uh, this kind of bind type because we are using M M4V. Then the emails or the admins are get notified uh, by OpenCast that uh, recording is ready to be published. The admins are logged into our video portal. They, they don't need to, to log um, to the OpenCast server, to the OpenCast admin server. They can search for the episodes or for the recording. And what I did is uh, I created a curl request. I do a curl, a curl request um, to our OpenCast admin server and I'm searching for final files version. And actually then I'm just copying the files from our OpenCast node to our CDN server. So the files at the end uh, staying at the, C uh, on the CDN server and not in the admin. So it takes like for 90 minutes uh, of lecture with presentation, it takes around one hour uh, before streaming stage and then it takes five to six hours to complete uh, OpenCast servers. Um, we are using Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, we have a multiple server installation. We have one admin node. 
um, one engage node and two worker nodes. Yeah, we have uh, different parts of uh, monitoring tools. And we are using also private, private IP addresses. Um, we have um, our presentation node. Uh, it uh, has a public uh, IP, but we need to change it because we are using it only as an editing tool for Pencast. We are not using uh, the Theodule player. Uh, we have five Gali caster machines and three NCAS. Uh, that's the background. Uh, this is our room. We are doing some special events. There was a, an email, um, like, I think like six months ago, how, how we can, um, how someone can operate the Gali caster when the Gali caster is in a different room. There are like uh, 30 responses. Uh, I'm doing it uh, another way. Of course, you can you can have like a, a VNC, so a remote uh, session. But I'm offering uh, the, the presenter the opportunity. So this is a, a monitor and this is a Pi at the back. The Pi is running um, in a kiosk mode. He's booting up and then he's running a, ser a surf uh, browser. And then we have an application there. And uh, the presenter can start and stop the recording. But that's all. So the presenter can start and stop and he can get, get a feedback. There is no feedback about uh, if the camera is working or the presentation is working. It's a very simple solution. And I just enable the REST API in the Gallicaster and I, I use this, I'm, I'm making um, an AJAC request to start and stop the recording. Uh, experience. Uh, last semester we did uh, 23, to 27 hours per week. 5% uh, of recordings failed uh, due to seg faults. Yeah. 3%? Okay. 10% um, of our workflows failed um, due to a well known null pointer exception. I don't want, I'm not a Java developer and I don't want to see any more of these errors. Uh, I talked with Lars and Lars told me that this is fixed in 2.1. So maybe we can compare that 2.1. All our recordings went first to the editor. At any case, there, really, there are no ex external personnel for uh, start editing or preview. So the, the professors are not doing anything. We are doing all the dirty job. There is no review, no editing and no start. Uh, of course, I show you this, this room we have. Uh, this is in our room or, uh, yeah, this is maybe uh, an exception. Uh, last semester, there was one person who, who was responsible for trimming. Uh, I need you to, can you guess who was it? Yeah. Um, I didn't want, for many reasons, I didn't want our admins to log in. I said, okay, it's uh, 23 to 27 hours per week. I can do it. It's like two minutes. Of course, if the recording takes place at the, at the morning and uh, we had a, a professor who needs to, the next day the, the recording to be online and I did it um, at the evening. That was not fun for uh, my girlfriend. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, I was the only one. For the next semester, we can think about it. Uh, if the admins or our team can log in um, and trim. Uh, we got 97% um, of manual recordings and 5% of scheduled recordings for NCAS. Now, uh, when I said 95% uh, of manual recordings, I mean that someone is going to the room with a camera He's plugging the camera, HDMI, to the Gallicaster, and then he starts to record. So our admins going with the cameras and start to record because we need to, to track. We, our main principle is to have a camera signal in all rooms. Um, the audio file um, had the same intro-outro as the video file. Uh, for the audio file, uh, in the video portal, when we are doing it uh, with the Final Cut Pro, at the start, there is a very polite lady uh, saying that um, uh, this audio podcast is provided to you by the University of Erlangen Nuremberg. Now, because I'm exporting the audio uh, from the video file, there is no such voice. Uh, we managed to do it, not in productive, and it's very simple. So you can add 
an intro, a combined intro in the 2.0, and then you can apply an FFmpeg uh, trimming command, an FFm trimming stop uh, step, and you can export the intro part, and you can uh, you can um, use another FFmpeg workflow step to create the audio. But we uh, we test it, but we we are not having it yet um, in our production. Uh, it was quite amazing because OpenCast created uh, roughly the same size and quality files like the files produced by Final Cut Pro. And of course, we are using a different publication channel and we are losing the Feodu features. So uh, we have a one stream player. Uh, summarize. Okay. OpenCast, uh, automated workflow. Okay. No license costs. Um, it's more than a post productive edit tool. We have a ton of other features. Uh, we have a powerful API. Yeah. Um, we have a simplified editing process. And with editing, I mean trimming. Yeah. Um, and Final Cut Pro, um, well, experienced users, of course, Final Cut Pro is Final Cut Pro. Yeah. When you need to edit, you can do a Hollywood style. Um, Capture recording, like having a volcano in the back of the presenter or something like that. Uh, yeah, exploding. Um, and the ability to concat to different videos. This is a feature that I'm really missing. Uh, I miss from uh, the OpenCast because uh, if the presentation, uh, a, um, a recording is failed, like uh, we have this uh, set faults problem with Gallicaster. Um, we have two different recordings, and uh, we need to create two different clip parts, and to create two different workflows, and uh, to create two different intro outros for part one and part two. So I, I would love if there was a um, some kind of combined workflows or something like that, so we can have two videos and merge them together. It's I, mu I must say too much. Okay, the winner. Any bets? I call it a draw because we're using both. Um, we are using Final Cut Pro, of course, and we're using also OpenCast. Uh, future plans. We need to improve the two other parts. We need to improve the capture process. Maybe we want to install lecture sites. We need to find uh, more suitable rooms for capture agent installation. Um, and we need to improve our uh, publication channel. Um, I We have a new HTML player. I hope for the next semester uh, our player will be online. It's going to play um, HLS stream with our WASA server. Um, and it, it, the player has also thumbnails on Sigbar, uh, which is uh, some kind of like um, YouTube where you can preview the thumbnails. and. Guess what system can do that can produce thumbnails from the presenter, the OpenCast. So we can uh, grab all uh, the pictures of OpenCast and put it back to our player. We need a new layout, definitely, and maybe new standards. Um, I want to try to install um, the 2.1 version or 2.2. Uh, and we want to give more back to the community. We have a new developer in house. We're starting right now uh, with OpenCast. Something before goodbye. Um, this is a web. This is a, a, an image from um, Web Congress. It took place one week ago in Erlangen. Um, we had uh, 27 trucks in two rooms. Uh, I scheduled all the recordings automatically. The recordings were done, up, uh, ingested, I trimmed, of course. And after two hours, the recordings uh, were online. Um, you see here, we have, uh, this is an exception. So uh, for these videos, I talked with um, a responsible and he said to me, because Anika is a, a one stream uh, play, um, capture device, uh, I said to him, it's very difficult to create the camera only. Is it possible, or did you have any problem if we create only a combined? And he said, yeah, that's not a problem. 
uh, so in video portal you can find um, um, the first course I think is a, a web, uh, web congress and there you can find uh, different um, presentations and this uh, were from opencast with all the metadata and the title and then presenter also uh, in this layout and after two days the videos uh, were online and this was something uh, really amazing because two do I have time like um, two years ago it's taking place every two years and two years ago uh, without uh, opencast and ncast we needed like um, one camera uh, okay for this um, because we have different scenarios uh, this camera here uh, is um, is a built-in camera in the in the room and it's always in the same um, position. So no one is operating the camera in, in this uh, event. Um, and two years ago, we needed uh, at least one person for the camera, one assistant. And uh, like um, this year was done automatically. So after the same, I think two days after uh, the event, we had all the videos online. Thank you. <laughs> Criticism from Apple fans. No Apple fans. No questions. Too many information. <laughs> yes. With the uh uh, combining of videos, uh, we are using a plugin to Gallicaster which combines uh, videos after crash. So, if you want to speak to us about that one, um, we are happy to help. Yeah, of course, it will uh, take us uh, like two or three working steps. But can 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 um, uh, Gallicaster? Uh, create a different layout and, and know about side by side uh, but can can we change like the, the camera position and um, minimize the camera position also because we need all, all this, this layout what you can do uh, obviously is uh, uh, we are doing this pre the post processing stage in model uh, in overcast so we combine the videos which the crash videos okay uh, before they actually are processed in OpenCast. Okay, then we are talking later, <laughs> maybe. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, if anyone has questions about this layout, I have also the demo, and also this prayer request from the video portal. Um, feel free.